Welcome, you're watching FBC Sports. National Sevens rugby reps have helped Warden's Gold reach the cup final of the Services Sevens at Ratu Dakambal Park. Experienced trio Setefano Dakao, Levani Botia and Eli Tinai proved too much for Army Red, beating the side 33-0 in the first semi-final this afternoon. Elena McDonald with all the action. Star-studded Warden's Gold side may meet their fellow teammates in the cup final of the Services Sevens tonight. The prison officers, army teams and police battle through the quarters to reach the semi-final stages. Stiff competition experience throughout two days of the shortened code. We win the competition, which is the Tanoa. Uh, the first prize is four thousand dollars. The second prize is um, is for the run-up, which is two thousand, and then um, one thousand for the plate and five hundred for the, um, the remaining prizes. Today's results speaks for itself. Wardens, the dominant team within the five armed forces. A crafty Tanoa is up for grabs tonight. Proceeds going towards medical assistance for the soldiers of old. Elena McDonald. FBC Sports. The International Rugby Board has announced the venues, pools and match schedule for the IRB Junior World Championship 2013 in France. Future stars of rugby will play over two weeks in June. Next year's format features three venues with each hosting a pool. Elena McDonald with the details of Fiji's matchups. Based on the previous championship standings, the baby flying Fijians will be up against former champs New Zealand, Ireland and Australia. Not the easiest of pools. We finished at, uh, at 11th place this year, so you know, it doesn't get any easier for us. We've got uh, New Zealand, uh, Australia and Ireland in our pool. So, you know, there's nothing much that can be done. We just have to prepare well and to try and qualify again for, try and finish somewhere respectable. The Junior World Championship will be hosted in France. The pools are lined up. Defending champ South Africa leads Pool A, while Wales heads Pool C. Fiji may not have achieved its aims in Italy last year, but with majority of the players still able to feature for Fiji, hopes are high for a better outing next year. You've got 11 players from all this year's squad who are eligible to play again next year, so basically they will form the core of the, of the team. Uh, in two, in la, uh, last year's squad, we only had two. Uh, you know, it's also a, a pathway for our uh, flying Fijian team. The Junior World Championship takes place in June. Elena McDonald, FBC Sports. The all familiar names within the flying Fijians team to face England continue to be a worry for the hosts when they meet at Twickenham tomorrow. Centres Sireli Nangelevuki and Verniki Ngoneva. Halfback Nicola Matuwalu, fly half Metuisela Talembula, and number eight Akapusi Ngera brings plenty of flavor and surprises for the England defense. All the odds are against Fiji, but England are not quite a fully firing cohesive unit just yet. The game should be open. Kickoffs at 3 o'clock tomorrow morning. Earlier today, USA defeated Russia 40 26, while Samoa set the benchmark for the Pacific Island teams by beating Canada. 42-12. It was finals day for the Fiji Men's and Mixed Netball Association at Lodala Bay's multi-purpose courts. The ever-dominant Suva teams took the lead again this year against Tailevu and Ra in the mixed and open grades. And while the teams battled, battled it out for the title, Elena McDonald found out players were also fighting for a spot in the national team. No doubt stiff competition would be displayed in the mixed and open men's netball finals. Suva, Ra, Tailevu and Masinu made the top four in both grade semi-finals. Top trophies up for grabs, but the bigger picture, getting selected into the men's national team. We have the Australian International Men's and Mixed Association, who's always inviting uh, Fiji men's and mixed uh, netball teams to participate in the annual um, international uh, men's tournament. The trip, a done deal, as far as officials are concerned. Next year in, two, in uh, April, uh, they're hosting the games again in Melbourne, so we've been invited. And uh, Fiji Men's and Mixed, together with the uh, teams here in Suva, we've um, prepared and have uh, informed the teams that they can participate at these games as well. National women's reps brought stiffer competition to the mixed divisions. Suva Green against Ra and Tailevu up against Suva Yellow. The open grade semis was between Suva White and Nasinu, while Suva Blue faced Tailevu.
Elena McDonald, FBC Sports.